guys today's video is gonna be on portrait uh, editing with fairy lights as you can see this was the original picture and first we are going to go into the light tab then we are going to control the exposure and gonna increase it to point two eight yeah just like that. and contrast should be uh, at least 30 ish i guess around this area highlights will be plus 36 and the shadows are we need to increase the shadows a lot because the photo is very dark and badly lit because I think it's a phone camera but never mind 78 and the whites we have to increase because the lights are also white and I want them to be prominent 35 and then the blacks will be minus 50 and then I forgot to do this but first crop it for Instagram I recommend using 5 into 4 so the picture doesn't get cropped by Instagram any further and lose its quality yeah and make sure to keep the face uh, within one of the squares or the features of the face within one of the squares uh, it's got something to do with symmetry and the mind and then after that we are going to go to the curve for the curve the first thing you are going to do is make a point here and keep it up then the first point we are going to drag down then the second point we are going to drag down and then the third point again up and the last one up as well mm, yeah it's okay and see the difference now it is like this and then we are going to go to color color we are going to adjust the temperature as it will look a bit better with 8 uh, radio temperature that is tint a bit on the purplish side so to vibrance we want it to be vibrant because it is a fairy light pick so plus 19 and saturation is okay orange we are going we are going to go to the mix tab and going to the color mixer orange tab that is this one and we are going to do saturation minus 34 going to change temperature a bit it looks really yeah, 13 Never mind. and then we are going to go to the FX tab and FX tab we are going to do plus 19 here and wait yeah but this does that it smoothens the skin texture on lowly lit photographs like this and clarity we are going to increase clarity plus 25 yeah and then dehaze will be plus 14 Wait, uh, I did positive 18, so it will be negative 18. Sorry, my bad. Uh, it works the other way. Sorry. Really sorry for that. 
and the sharpening would be plus 29 because we want the details to be prominent like the strands of the hair and the fairy light to glow and we see that uh, there is a lot of noise on the wall that is the plaster and stuff that is glaring at us because of the low lit situation so we are going to use noise reduction plus 30 it reduces and smoothens out the colors a lot this was the before and this is the after now the first part of our editing is done in Lightroom and then we are going to go to PixArt let me just save this mm. ok let's go to PixArt yeah and in this one we are going to go to the FX tab this is free so you don't have to worry about cost or anything so we are going to go to blur and then we are going to go to here here you can increase or reduce the blur if you like I like it a bit on the 15-16 side that is and use this eraser and erase the parts you don't want the blur to be in uh, I want the fairy lights to be in the blur so I will just rub it off the parts of her yes, you can just select the size of the eraser like this and the opacity that is how much blur it will be reduced by this 99% is total blur gone so we want that on her face and all the areas associated with near her face that is the hair strands and all and then apply the blur and the brush tool here applies the blur and we want the hair to come out like that and a little bit more I guess yeah better so let's save it wait save it okay and this was a before and is the after thanks for watching and please do subscribe if you like it and keep give a comment or if you couldn't understand anything or it seemed really good and do give constructive criticism just like always and the original picture was taken by Moa Hansdad I have mentioned her Instagram, she takes really good photos, you can follow her also.